If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. Sometimes a game is not just a game. I call it like I see it from this desk here at the Rich Eisen Show. Nobody has now more than five rings. No, nobody has no more than four rings other than him. He's got the most rings. He did it in a game where he threw for the most yards in the history of the Super Bowl to lead the largest comeback in NFL history in terms of impressiveness, in terms of importance, in terms of clutchness. I understand it wasn't the biggest comeback in playoff history. That, that Frank Reich comeback for the Bills on the Oilers it still is. But come on. Nobody's ever come back from more than 10 points in a Super Bowl. Who's the team that came back from 10 points in a Super Bowl before? That'd be Super Bowl 49 Patriots. Okay? When he was the MVP of that game because he found four different receivers and four touchdowns. There was no Gronk last night. Do you know why the Patriots were down so much? Not only because Atlanta played so well. They missed Gronk. How many times would they just throw it up in the end zone? They needed points in a hurry. Who's their chunk play guy? Who's their guy in the red zone? They were having trouble separating from the man-to-man -man coverage that Atlanta surprised them with. A shared moment that unites us and resonates for the rest of our lives. When you look at his Super Bowl resume, and we'll get into it more in detail later, but what he pulled off last night was flat out impossible, seriously impossible. And I kept thinking of you, and I knew you were celebrating because I, you want to talk about deflated, I was deflated. <laughs> and when, when Tom Brady threw a pick six late in the second quarter that made it 21 to nothing, I said, game over. There's no way. The Falcons are too explosive on offense. They're going to have the ball too many times in the second half. There's no way Brady can pull that off. And then for sure it was game over when the Falcons scored to make it 28 to 3 with 831 left in the third quarter. 28 to 3? Were you not game over at that point? Yeah, I really did. I thought that was the dagger. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. I thought that was the dagger. <sighs> and in talking to all the guys, because obviously we were the historically black yeah. college uh, pro football hall of yes. famers were honored. And everybody in there thought it was over. Um Jackie Slater was also in there. His son Matthew plays for the Panthers. Oh, yeah. And he was just like. I did not see this coming. I did not see this happening like this. Tonight, the Pats have returned. So they have gone to the Atlanta Falcons who are seeking their first ground in only their second Super Bowl appearance. I started to process, how are we going to explain that Tom Brady just played his first ugly Super Bowl with an ugly loss to fall to four and three in Super Bowls? And I thought, this is going to be tough. And at that point, Shannon Sharp. Yes. Help me out here. New England could not run the ball or stop the run. Am I right about that? Yes. And at that point, the new improved New England offensive line with Dante Scarnecchia coming back out of retirement to coach it, it looked even worse than it did at Denver a year ago. They couldn't block anybody. And Tom Brady, as we just heard him say, was getting the you-know-what knocked out of him, and he was losing a little bit of poise and a little bit of accuracy because he is human now. Yes. And he was getting hit so hard that he was getting a little gun shy and he missed it. three or four throws, a couple to Edelman where I thought, what are you doing? Not to mention they had dropped three balls. Gaskowski had missed it, just clanked an extra point off the right upright. You thought it was Denver all over yeah, again. Yeah, it was Denver, Denver all over again. And LeGarrette Blunt had blown the, the, the potential early lead with the fumble where he got stripped by Deion Jones. And I thought, I, I thought we were looking at 42 to 10 at that point. Seriously. When that moment arrives, we each see it differently. Freeman, what a cut! Touchdown, Atlanta! And Atlanta has grabbed the lead in Super Bowl 51. Through our own lenses, through our own eyes. Let's go! We experience the emotion of proving we belong. Brady gets the snap from Andrews. Pass is picked. Intercepted Robert Alford. He's gone. There are no flags. And the Falcons add to their lead. Let's go. And then this happened. Tom Brady turned back into Tom Brady. And Matt Ryan turned back into Matt Ryan. We feel the weight of history and expectations. 
And when it was time, when the money was on the table, Brady was Brady and Matt Ryan was Matt Ryan. And when he got strip sacked, that was at, I think, 28 to 12, Mm -hmm. 831 to go in the fourth quarter. And there was that little shot, if we could see it, of Brady on the sideline. Wait! Guess who that guy is? Guess who that guy is? That's Psycho Tom. That's the guy when when I see him emerge, it's like the little kid comes out of him, but it's like a crazed little kid. And he does his little half pirouette, unathletic <laughs> jump on the sideline. And you say, uh-oh, here he comes. It would be an unprecedented comeback if the Patriots climb out of this hole to win their fifth Super Bowl. Right now, it's Atlanta in charge. Share the pain of having nothing left to give. And Brady was phenomenal. Sure, James White set records himself, but somebody had to get the Patriots in the right play. Somebody had to keep the Patriots' mind right on the field. Somebody had to get the Patriots down the field. Somebody had to have coolness under pressure. Somebody had to pick up a first down with his legs with the largest rush of the game. Somebody had to do all of that. It's Tom Brady. I quite frankly can't have this conversation, but I will if you want to have it. Goat. End of story. Most rings, largest comeback, the most prolific passing performance, 466 yards in a Super Bowl. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Now they'll throw. Pass is caught. That's right. Touchdown. And we're swept away by the joy of the impossible made real. Boy, you got to drop them to come back from a 25-point deficit when things are dire. But you put it on 12's back. They may have the regular season MVP. We might be looking at the Super Bowl 51 MVP if this plays out. Let's go! And from that moment on, from that moment, the stats, think of these. From 28 to 3 down, he goes 26 of 33 for 284 with two touchdowns and no interceptions. New England from that point had 338 total yards to 69 for Matt Ryan and company and just took over the football game. Tom Brady, Tom Brady rose above that game and took it over the way nobody in the history of the NFL could do. And in the end, he did get to watch Roger Goodell present that trophy to Bob Kraft, mm-hmm. who was who just delighted in it. He just yeah. reveled in it, right? Sweetest ever, <laughs> yes. right? And Tom Brady did accept the handshake from Roger Goodell because he's he's a classy individual and he wasn't going to leave him hanging on that one, though I wish he would have. And in no, the no, end, come on now. Well, seriously, not on that, not on that, stage. Not, not on that stage. But in the end, Tom Brady managed to beat Roger Goodell by not only saving his legacy that Roger attempted to tarnish, if not wreck, mm-hmm. but he enhanced it last night by starting off so poorly and finishing so all-time great. And today, at his press conference with the commissioner, where they were both very complimentary, or at least the commissioner was, and Tom Brady was very classy in saying that he was proud to get the award from the commissioner. At today's MVP press conference, when flat out asked, you know, if this is the end, because normally someone who's at age 39, who's going to be 40 when the Patriots host yet another banner raising in Gillette to kick off the season next year. He will beat 4-0 years old. Normally you think this is, it can't get any better than this. Most rings ever, largest comeback ever, most prolific passing performance ever. You are the GOAT. Why in the world would you come back? Because he wants his sixth. And he wants to be able to show you, I can do it as 40. Wants to be the oldest (laughs) to do it. Wants to keep on keeping on. And why the hell not? That's it for this video. I post a new Tom Brady video every day, so please like and subscribe. That way you'll always have a new Tom Brady video to watch every single day.